Hi, my name is Greg Milan. I'm the system architect for Alfresco Content Services, and I'm one of the engineers defining the overall shape of the Alfresco digital business platform. And by that I mean what components we use, how they're built, and how they're assembled into a business platform to run your applications. This is the first of a series of videos presented by Alfresco Engineering in which we describe the elements of the Alfresco digital business platform. In this video, I provide an overview of the platform. So let's look at the applications layer of the Alfresco digital business platform. This is where the business platform meets the business user through a series of applications such as Desktop Sync, where the Windows user, for example, can interact directly with the platform using the Windows desktop through drag and drop operations. A series of mobile applications that run on iOS and Android devices and a modern web application we call Share that runs on all the major browser platforms. We also have a set of applications built by our business partners. Now, how do these applications get built? They get built using an open source framework we call the Alfresco Development Framework. It follows an assembly model where you build reusable components on modern web technology, Angular 2. These components are visually pleasing, exciting, they follow well-understood user interface patterns, and they're built using common UI controls, such as those available from Google Material Design. The result is an application that's simple, easy to use for developers, for business users, and for administrators. And importantly, these applications are accessible, which means that they can be used by all kinds of users. So let's look at the integrations layer of the Alfresco Digital Business Platform. Now, as I mentioned, we have a rich framework for developing applications. But we've gone beyond that and actually integrated the platform with other frameworks in your organization. So for example, if you're using Salesforce.com, you're creating an, acti an activity or an, an account in Salesforce, and you need to access Alfresco, you could do that directly from within Salesforce.com. And if you're within Alfresco, and you need to access content in Salesforce.com, you could also do that directly. If you're using Microsoft applications like Office or Outlook, and you need to get at content in the Alfresco Digital Business Platform, we make that very easy, seamless. If you're working with SharePoint, no problem. You could access content directly from within Alfresco. If you want to get at the rich collaborative capabilities of Google Apps, if you want, for example, to start an editing session from within the uh, share application I mentioned earlier, no problem. You could do that directly. If you want to publish digital content to a channel provider such as Brightcove or uh, Amazon CloudFront, no problem. We provide that kind of capability as well. And speaking of Amazon, if you want to tap into the incredible scale and cost savings offered by AWS S3, we make that easy with an S3 connector, so your content in Alfresco is stored in Amazon S3. I've just described a rich application development framework, a rich set of connectors, and applications. So what services do these applications, this framework, and these connectors rely upon? The first set of services they rely upon are called process services. Now, if you want to improve your organization's digital flow, which is how your teams and users are working together to a common end. The first step is actually defining what those flows look like. We provide some simple web tooling that your business users can use to describe business flows using familiar and standard nomenclature and symbols and deploy those processes. And once those processes are running in our process service engine, they have access to all the other capabilities in your organization through REST APIs you might provide. And if you need to call from your other parts of the organization into Alfresco Process Services, we provide a rich RESTful API to allow you to do that. For example, if you have an ERP application that needs to start an Alfresco business process interactively, you can do that directly through a REST API. Now, while all of these processes and tasks are running, we're busy indexing all that information. And the reason we're doing that is we want to make it possible for you to then later search that index and gain insights into how well your processes are actually working. 
And if they need improvement, you can go back to that tool I mentioned before and repaint the flow and redeploy it and incrementally improve your digital business flow. In addition to process services, Alfresco provides a rich set of content services that allow you to manage your content to get the right information to the right people at the right time. At the center of the content services is our content repository. This is a highly scalable, very resilient repository based on proven SQL technology. It can be scaled up and out, and we've proven it to be able to hold up to a billion documents, at which point we just stopped counting. It's also very customizable. We have a technology we call smart folders that allow your business users to define custom rules as to how to organize the content. Once these rules are defined, we take care of all the housekeeping for you. We also provide the ability to define custom content models. So if you have special metadata that's particular to your organization, you can define a custom data model and we'll make sure to capture that metadata about your content. And we also provide the ability to have custom rules and actions. It's an if then, then that kind of model. So if you drop, for example, a file on a folder, you could define a rule that says run this process as a result. So we'll take care of all that for you as well. We also make sure that we keep the standards. We have standard data models like Dublin Core, if you want to attach that to your, to your document metadata, or EXIF, if you've got photographic image data that you need to capture standard content about, we'll take care of all that for you as well. And finally, and this is really important, all the content you're storing in that content repository, it's all being indexed. We index that content using a technology called Solar6, Apache Solar6, in which we're a leader in the community. And we do that so you could query that metadata, that index content, to find inferences about your content, how it's being used, and improve your digital flow. Organizations are responsible for complying with an increasingly complex set of regulations from government and industry. Alfresco, through governance services, makes that easy. Through a set of rules-based retention schedules, you could automate the application of those rules and regulations so that your business users don't have to change the way they work. And importantly, the scope of that rules-based retention schedule can apply to all the content in your organization. How do you deploy and run Alfresco? We offer a number of deployment options to let you choose. You could decide to run Alfresco on-premise, for example, where you choose the database, the operating system, and the application server, and we provide a set of reference architectures to guide you in that process. Or you could decide to let us run Alfresco for you, which we do in a place in the cloud called myalfresco.com. And interestingly, you could decide to adopt the hybrid model, where you run Alfresco on-premise, you let us run Alfresco in the cloud, and you can connect it to selectively replicating content. If you want to run Alfresco in Amazon Web Services and get access to their incredible cost and scale savings, you can do that by following a set of reference architectures we provide and using our DevOps toolkit, make it really easy to spin up an instance of Alfresco in the AWS infrastructure. And we also provide an implementation of Alfresco in a virtual private cloud. We'll run that for you in Amazon infrastructure as another option. All these are great deployment choices for Alfresco. Thank you for your time. I hope you found the content interesting. There's more detailed videos in this series, and I hope you find time to watch those as well. I would welcome feedback on this video or on the Alfresco digital business platform. Thank you very much for your time.